All right, so we talk about an inelastic collision. Let's discuss the elastic collision. Perfect. A perfectly elastic collision of two bodies. Okay, so we've got a perfectly elastic collision of two bodies. What would have to be conserved, first of all? Even before, yeah, energy and momentum, yeah. So I would say, in this one, P is equal to P primed, no problem. And if I have mass A and mass B, that just means that MA, VA plus MB, VB equals the primed version of that. What if there's more than two masses in the That gets more complicated. Are we going to get that complicated? We probably won't get that complicated in a two-dimensional scenario. Okay. Well, in a one-dimensional scenario, it's it's really not that hard. Just adding an extra, yeah. Yeah. So I don't know how much that would really add fuel to your physics fire, but we could. Okay. So that equation really no different than what we just did a second ago with the uh, the inelastic collision. So I won't make a whole lot about that. If energy before and after is, or kinetic energy before and after is conserved, then that's not even that tricky either. Anywho, if I've got these two masses and they come on a collision course with one another one again, once again, but these guys have elastic properties, what might happen to them afterwards? What do you say, Daniel? It's elastic collisions of two bodies is the title. With their velocities slow down? Well, would they, if it's totally elastic, would they slow down or? What? I don't know. If they're the same mass, if they were exactly the same mass, they might just bounce off in opposite directions. What if one was more massive than the other? Like, let's say that, that A was more massive than B. I don't, know. Oh, don't, don't interrupt other people. Sorry, Cece, what were you saying? Oh, I was saying the lighter one would go faster because of transfer of momentum. Oh, it might. Yeah, that's a, a good thought. Maybe the light one having less mass might end up going faster than it was originally, but maybe in the opposite direction. Could be, could be. What do you say, Daniel? I was going to say that they would, um, if they had the same uh, initial velocity with, uh, with bumping into each other, mm -hmm. maybe their, their ending speed would be relative to how much more heavy one is than the other. Like, if, if one is twice as heavy than the other, then it would have... So the there could be some proportionality argument? Yeah? What, what about... Uh, Oh, sorry. Yeah. Um, what if they just switch velocities? They trade velocities? Yeah, like if the velocities keep going in the same way that the, men, well, the momentum is still going in the same way that the transfers. Well, that's an, I mean, those are interesting ideas. I want to take a, I want you to think about them as you go through the problems, okay? In the homework. One thing I might suggest to you, if these guys were going to bounce off of, these, of each other perfectly in the opposite direction at the same speed, they would have to probably have the same speed going towards one another initially and the same mass. What if they had different masses and different momentum so that this one here, A and B, sorry, both had the same momentum? What if they both had the same momentum? Different masses and different velocities, then what would happen? It bounce off with the same momentum, but that... 
So, so they have the same momentum balancing backwards, but but in the opposite direction. It's almost like a tug of war, or more like a push of war, right? So something to keep in the back of your mind as a as a conceptual back burner thing, but keep it back there as we go through some actual problems. Okay.